template. We've got the actual bike anchor. We've got the epoxy. That's to push the epoxy out of the tube, and that's our applicator. So now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be running a healthy drill. Home Depot, 39 bucks, I think it was, with a 7 8 inch concrete bit. And now, next, we're going to lay it out. Okay, here I've cut out a couple of holes in our blank anchor template. I'm going to mark it. We decided we wanted it kind of close to the wall, so it's kind of out of the way. I'm going to lay it down this is where we decided we wanted it. I'm going to mark it. Uh, just a little sharpie here so we can kind of see where we're going. Double check. Seems to match up, so that would be good. And uh, next step will be drilling it. Okay, we're going to start the uh, start the drilling and. Uh, Inserted the nozzle, put the, uh, the pusher on the back, kind of squeezing out some of the first uh, caulk to make sure we've got a good mixture because it's two-part epoxy. Uh, the next step is going to be we're going to fill the hole about halfway filled with the epoxy. So you can see what it's doing. All right, now we're going to insert. We filled the holes halfway full. We're going to insert the bolt anchor. We're going to kind of work it up. Looks like we probably need a little bit more in the hole. We're going to pull it out and put a little more. And we have about five minutes, so you have to work a little quickly. Okay, so we refilled it, put a little more in there to where it's now it's coming out a little bit. It's starting to squish out, which we'll uh, Smoothing out the uh, the part, the epoxy that came out of the hole. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. And one note: this is our first time installing the bolt anchor too. So um, you know, realize we don't uh, we don't do this every day. So um, and we realize we decided to do it this time. You know, our, our first time in filming. So 
we could show how easy it really is and it's not that big of a deal. So now that it's there, we're going to let it's got to sit for 24 hours. Uh, after that, you're able to use your uh, ultimate security chain, chain up what you need to chain, and it'll be good to go. Probably a little coat of paint to make it look nice, and that's it. All right, that's the finished product. We cleaned up the edges a little bit. Uh, it's got to sit for 24 hours to let the two-part epoxy set. Uh, you know, after that, we'll probably slap a little coat of paint on it to make it look good. And that's it. It's installed, ready to be used. Okay, we have finished the installation. We've waited our 24 hours. We've tied down this little four-wheeler here with our ultimate security chain. We've got that. Wrapped it around the frame down there. We've got our bike anchor securely in there. Uh, it's all tied up with a C13 lock.